Hey guys, it's Charmelle. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with this first look on this kinky curly hair that I have installed. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so I was contacted by Ali Pearl to AliExpress Vendor to do a review on some hair of theirs. I, I chose the Peruvian Kinky Curly. I They sent me three bundles of 24 inch as well as a 18 inch frontal. I did do an install video, so that will be coming up uh, soon after this, you know, sometime after this video. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not, so you can keep up and see how I actually install this hair. I don't have much to say. I've only had it installed for two and a half days now. Um, this is the natural curl pattern of the hair. The hair is super long. I only trimmed it just a little bit, but if I stretch this, it goes like down to my belly button and in the back it goes like almost to my butt so the hair is super long I normally go for like shoulder length curly hair um, but I wanted to do something different so I chose longer lengths this time I didn't color the hair or do any manipulation to the hair at all this is just like I said the hair in its natural state I put a little bit of product on some of the mixed chicks leave-in um, I just scrunched it after I co-washed it this morning but yeah, as far as foul smells or anything like that, the hair didn't necessarily smell foul out the bag, but it kind of smelled, just kind of smelled a little process. Um, if you've watched my videos and my reviews before when I used to do a lot of reviews, I've always mentioned that most hair that we purchase, especially on AliExpress, is processed. It doesn't mean that the hair is bad hair, but with all the different lengths and textures and all that most likely the hair is processed whether it's chemically processed or steam processed there's some kind of processing done to the hair it's not raw hair um so to me it did have a processed kind of smell but it didn't smell foul it smelled like your typical hair um it was really soft out of the bag as well um i co-washed it well yeah i originally co-washed it and while i was co-washing it i got a little bit of shedding um then once I installed it, I co-washed it again and I got more shedding, but after installing it, I did go in and do some thinning and I did do a lot of plucking to my frontal and stuff like that. So I'm assuming that that shedding was just all the hair falling out from me, thinning the hair out and from me um, plucking my frontal. So hopefully the shedding will ease up some. It's not bad shedding, but definitely when I wash or when I co-wash it, I've experienced shedding. And at the same time, it is 24 inches of kinky curly hair. So I expect there to be some shedding, but I just don't want my bundles to start looking like thin in a minute. Um, I've had tried, I have tried kinky curly hair before. The other kinky curly hair that I wear off and on, um, the spirals are a little bigger. This one, the spirals are definitely a little smaller. And this has like a real like coarse kinky look to it. It doesn't feel coarse, but um, at one point it almost looked like Marley hair. And I was like, oh my God, what did I do? Um, this is a sew-in. This is my first sew-in in like over a year. Um, so I'm hoping that this hair uh, is good to me because I would hate to have to take this down um, within the next week or so. But yeah, I, like I said, I get a couple snags, but like I said, this hair is like kinky. It's not, I know sometimes when companies advertise kinky curly hair, it's more so just curly, but this kind of has that kink look to it. Like if I were to tease this out, it would look like an afro for real. Um, I only installed about a bundle and a half. Like I said, they sent me three bundles. Um, with the frontal, the frontal took up a nice portion of my hair. So I only end up stalling like a bundle and a half, if even that in the bag, because I didn't want it too big. Um, so you definitely, I think you can get by with two bundles, even if you do longer lengths, unless you want like super big hair. If you just want like a nice look like this without the front, so I still think you can do two bundles of hair. But yeah, I don't have much to say. Like I said, it's only been installed for two days now. So, you know, of course it's holding up well, but I'm excited to see how this does. I, I really, I'm really feeling this install with the frontal and with the sew-in and it's not a wig and it's really flat. 
So yeah, I'm excited about this hair. I'll definitely keep you guys posted and updated if anything changes. Gonna hopefully wear this for four weeks. I hope so. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to keep this in for four weeks. And then once I'm done wearing it, I'll definitely come back and do a final review and tell you guys the pros and cons. Um, I can also tell you guys the pros and cons of a frontal at that point because um, this is my first frontal so I don't really know how this is gonna work either but yeah let me know what you guys think of course the details and everything about the vendor will be down below stay tuned for the install video and I'll see you guys next time